The content of this video is not medical advice or a substitute for physical therapy. Please consult your physician or physical therapist before starting any exercise program. If you suffer from chronic low-level lower back pain, even after good medical care, then today's tip is just for you. You may be continuing to experience back pain because the faulty mechanics that caused your original injury were never fully addressed. So in today's tip, we're going to go through three exercises that I give most of my low back pain clients because I find that those mechanical problems, those faulty mechanics, are relatively similar regardless of the diagnosis. So to begin, all you're going to need is a mat, and I'm going to ask you to come down to your stomach, lie face down, and place your feet shoulder width apart. Now go ahead and put your hands under your shoulders, and what I want you to do here is gently use your hands to press yourself up and away from the surface, going into a little backward bend. Now be sure to not press any higher than what feels good, right? Don't press extra high, don't try to get as far as you can, and certainly don't press so high that you get cramming or pain in your lower back. You just wanna press yourself into a backward bend. So don't worry, if your back is stiffer than mine, you don't have to come up as far as I'm going up, and if you have more mobility and it feels great to go higher, then feel free. The point is, you do the back bend that feels good for you, just make sure that you're using your hands to do it. So you're gonna do about five repetitions of those. Now, for the second exercise, I'm gonna give you an exercise that has to do with lower back control or stability of the lower back. And to do that, you're just gonna turn over onto your back. And I want you just to take a moment as you lie here, make sure that your pelvis is relatively neutral, meaning the pelvic bones are pointed straight up and that your face is level. So that just puts your spine in an optimal alignment. Now I want you to put your thumbs on your lower ribs and your fingertips on your pelvic bones and we're gonna do a little bit of marching here. So you're gonna take a breath in. As you exhale, I want you to feel that you can kind of shrink wrap your abdomen. You're gonna draw your belly in and lift and lower one foot without feeling your back move. Take a small breath here. Exhale, shrink wrap or compress those abdominals and lift and lower the other foot, again without feeling your back move. So if you're feeling your pelvis, like if I'm doing this where I'm really pulling the knee in, you can see my back mashing down. That's not what we're looking for here. We want this neutral position, so this distance between my thumbs on my ribs and my um, fit four fingers on my pelvic bones is not changing as I exhale, tighten my abdominals, and then lift and lower one foot. So you're going to continue that, taking another breath, exhaling, tightening the abdominals to lift and lower the other foot. Do that about five times on each side, and really work on not letting anything in your torso move. This should be really just the legs moving in the hip joints. Now, before I go to my third exercise, I just want to remind you that if you find these tips helpful, if you like this, please go ahead and click like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, because I put these out every week, and share with your friends. The other thing I want to tell you about is if you want more in-depth information on my weekly video topics, then go ahead and subscribe to my newsletter. The link is in the description below. All right, now for my last exercise, we're going to go back to the mat. Lie on your back with your knees bent. Once again, take a moment to be sure your pelvis is pointed straight up at the ceiling and it's nice and level and your face is level. And what I'm gonna ask you to do is that same breathing technique. You're gonna take a nice breath in. As you exhale, I want you to compress your abdomen, pull your belly in, and then without changing the position of your back here, you're gonna press down with your heels to lift your hips just off the mat. Now you should feel your buttocks fire here. If you don't, I'm gonna put a link to my DBS video in the description below as well. So you can check in on that video if you don't feel your buttocks working here. But let's do a few more of these. You're gonna take a breath in, exhale, compress your abdominals, so pulling the belly in, pressing down with the heels to lift just off the surface. Height does not matter here, only that your buttocks are firing along with your abdominals. And then you're gonna lower the hips again. So I'll do one more with you, take a breath, exhale, compress and tighten those abs, 
press down with your heels to lift just off the surface, hopefully feeling those glutes fire, and then come on back down to the surface. All right, so remember the name of the game here in these three exercises. First, the prone press up restores back extension or backward bending. It's the opposite of what most of us do most of our days, right? The second exercise is really working on control of the lower back. And the third exercise combines control of the lower back with firing the buttocks. All three of these patterns are very, very important in recovering from chronic low back pain. All right, that's all I've got for you this week. I hope you found that helpful. Until I see you next time, keep moving and be well.